Hey, what's going on? Um, I'm going to show you how to make a overlay for Twitch. I'm going to do it the easy way though. Uh, I'm actually going to use somebody's layout so it's easy. Some people know how to make them. I do. But I'm just going to do the easy and fast way. First, you're going to need GIMP, which is right here. I have loaded already. Actually, I already have something here. But you can get it if you go right here to Google and type in GIMP. It's G I M P will be this link right here, the second link. Download it and that will be your Photoshop that you will be using. Let me just go like this and this, clear all this. Actually, I'll just start new, file, new. My resolution is 1366 at a 768. Uh, you can go into your settings to figure it out on your computer. And then hit OK. It'll give you this. Then you want to go down here put it to 50% so you can see that's how big. You don't want to go outside those boxes. Because it's white, you want to make it transparent. You're going to go to Layers, Transparency, add then go back into it and add color color then you don't want to change this you just want to add that then on this let me just close close this one bring that one back up all right now this is what you're going to use to make it i am go this is what i did to find free editable ones i put free twitch editable overlays Here's a few links. This first one I clicked on was pretty good. It brought me to his page. He has about 10 different layers, which is cool, and I'm going to link it in the description below when I get to it. But with that being said, I already have them downloaded, so these are all the layouts. They're going to be PSD, so they look like this, they look like a file. So when you click on it, it's going to, I'm using Windows 8, so it tries to open it as like something was typed, but you don't even need to open it. When you have GIMP open with this, you open it and you just go like that and it will bring it into there. This is his saying, thank you for downloading it, his live stream. But to take that off, you just click on that X, click on this. Remove this layout, like he says. Actually, I'll make that a little. There you go. It says remove this layout. You're going to right click on it and delete. Now, this is his Minecraft, I'm assuming. To remove that, right here again. Remove. You right click it. Delete layout. Now, this is for your webcam. This is your name, your Twitter name. You can change the color. He, you can change the color on this, but you're going to want to go on GIMP and use this thing that looks like four arrows each way, north, south, east, west. This, you can move it. So if you want your thing here, you can move it here. If you want to move your border down below, you can move it down below. So to change the color, you're going to click on this. You're going to go to colors. You're going to go to color this one right here, colorize. And then you move it this way, you can move it this way, you can do whatever color you want. Go up, go here, you can go lighter, you can go darker, go just like that. We'll leave it to those colors to change right here. This, you can actually scale up so you can actually see this a little better. You will want to unclick this. Sorry, let me do that over. Right click scale layer then unclick this you can make it as much as you want you can do this individually put it at 20 put this one at 240 so it's a little bigger scale there you go it says be sure to follow the stream then you can oops uh, i don't have that click then you're going to click over here you can change the name also you put your name what i do is i delete all this i delete this i delete the oh, no nope, I didn't that's scale uh, right click delete layer 
uh, right click, right click, delete layer, right click, delete layer. So now you just have the border. You want to scale uh, actually the layout uh, on this. You can make it full screen. So we know I'm running 1366. Oh, no, I don't want to go 1366. Sorry. Um, let me cancel that and see what it was. Scale layer. Yes, actually, I was right. The wideness, 1366. I don't really want to change how far it drops down the height. So I'm just going to leave it at 1366 and 7, 78. Now it goes tip to tip. Now you can move it up if you want. So it's all the way at the top. And also move with that one. Your name. Click that. Delete. Now you can move this here on mine. These are just easy layouts. There's other ones you can make. What I like to do is for my name right here, I'll use this website. It's called Cool Text. Oops, forgot the X. Text.com. You can choose from anything. I'll just do skate because it looks cool and then what you do is delete and put your username or your Xbox name or your streamer name my name is beatups NYC on uh, Xbox one and also on twitch change you can change the colors I like yellow so you can get like a nice fade on it and then you want to change this to about 35 or 40 percent text size because you can also also always scale it up. Hit create logo. You're gonna click click on it. It's gonna download it. This is gonna go into my downloaded file. I already have a few, as you can see. This is the ones I actually use. But you just take this, throw it in here, and there you go. The color I probably didn't pick was the greatest. But if you want to scale this and you want to take this and make sure it's up above. Hmm. See, because that's a totally different thing. Then you want to right click, then scale layer. It looks like uh, 45 would be a nice height. And I'd say two, let's try 265. That right there. And I have already, I think, nope, that's not it. I got to go to pictures. This right here. You can use as your YouTube link so people know what your YouTube name is if you have one or your Facebook. Uh, all you got to do is drop it in. Then you want to rescale it to the size. I believe 45 by 45 will be good because I just used 45 on the name. My name beatups. Yeah, you could put, uh, put it like right here. This layout isn't the greatest one because these are so small. I uh, use it a little bigger. It's about this whole size and just the ends are cut off. And then you can also go back to the website Cool Text and then you can put ed you can go to edit or you can just start it back and then put because my YouTube name is video video gamer dot com. It's thirty five. I uh, might actually make this one 25 because it's so long and then go to create logo click on it it'll download it go back to GIMP then open up this go under it's going to be on the download video gamer pull it over bang and then they know YouTube video gamer you can make them a little bigger so uh, you can see them and also you can put like down here when you're in it. I, I'm going to try to fit all this in the video. Um, let me see. Go here. Go to my pictures. I had a. I have a Facebook. So. I used. I believe this one. Yeah it was this one. Put Facebook. Up here. I would rescale that. So it's the same size as the other one, 45 and 45, there you go, and 
Uh, when I did the Facebook, all I did was beat up. So I'm going to just click on... Nope. Cool text. Excuse me. And duplicate layout. And then... There it go. My name on Facebook is Beat Ups as my fan page, so you can click like that. This layout I picked wasn't the greatest, but I'm just trying to show you. Uh, I can go here, go to New, go to. Don't have to change nothing because already. But then we will go to Layer, Transparency, Add, back to Layer, back to Transparency, then Color Two. Don't need to change nothing. Just hit OK. Go to 50% so you see where you're going. And we'll pick another fast. Ooh, where are they? Pictures. No, oh, it's in downloads. Let's go with layer number seven. I didn't try seven yet, but you want to open this up by pressing that. I'm removing this. And then removing this one right here. So, oh, see, this one's pretty good. So I'm going to open up this one, take all the text out, be sure to follow. And then let's rescale this one. So it's straight across the whole page. Uh, scale. 1366 scale and then you want to move that and go here and then like I said we can go back in I already had some made up I'll use this one so it's a different color so you can see bang that's that and then my YouTube one then you want to because depending on where it is you don't want that to be in there because that's the layer already. Uh, let's rescale it to 50 and 50. And then go back in here. Actually, we can just do this. Cool text needs to be brought out up here too, also. Click on that, right click, duplicate. Click that there, and then we can. Where is the other one? Facebook. Where is that? Like Facebook, and then we will rescale it. The other one's 50. One's that. YouTube. Let me go here and go to downloads and then go to video crazy and then where is that layout your name there it is delete you don't need that okay and there you go now how what you're gonna do to save this you're gonna go to file you're gonna go to export uh, it needs to be a PNG and we'll do test overlay as the name save it in pictures export uh, this is you don't change nothing on this you just hit export I'm gonna minimize all this now I am actually using open broad broadcaster to make this video when I use uh, X split it won't record my voice so I think I need to pay for it I use it for free the free version of it I'm gonna just show you uh, it's gonna take a few seconds how to do the layout and set up the camera so let's go to uh, do I have a new one actually I will just do it remove Remove, move, remove. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. Fifty, boom. Maybe not fifty percent. Forty, forty. 
All right, you're going to go to add. You're going to go to add media file. And I forgot what I named it. Believe. Where'd it go? My pictures. Test overlay, I thought I named it. Did it go in here and save? Okay, I exported it and don't see it. Let's go do it again. Overlay MPEG. Save as I put it in pictures. And test overlay. There it is. It is in pictures. So let's minimize all this. Minimize. Close that. Close that. Add media, send pictures as overlay test, which I do not. Oh, there it is. Now, this right here, you're going to pull and fit it to screen. You already can't change any of this. You're going to go here. Let's go add camera. I don't know if this is going to mess up. No camera is available because I'm using it. You're going to minimize it, but It's not going to fit perfectly unless you scale it and then the camera goes there. You want to add, um, uh, if you use XSplit, I'll show you a cool thing. You can go to tools. Nope. Go here. You can go to add text. You can put donations are welcomed. Period. And you can have it scroll. Scroll it hit OK don't worry if it's too big you can resize it move. now don't want to move for me get a little bigger so I can move it okay that looks about right and you can put it right under here so people see, yeah, this is not lined up the best, but it's just a quick tutorial on how to do it. And then you can also add a few other things like your camera and screen regions. X out of this. And that is how you make a overlay. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video.